Okay, ready? Hi, <laughs> I'm Father Joe Krupp, chaplain. Nope, I'm not chaplain at MSU. I just answered an MSU question, so I got MSU on the brain. Hi, I'm Father Joe Krupp, chap. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna do it again. Hi, I'm Father Joe Krupp, pastor at Holy Family in Grand Blank and St. Mark and Goodrich, and I am no longer chaplain at MSU. So, uh, I've got your questions here, and uh, not seen these. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay. Why does the church not allow us to have our wedding on the beach? Um, oh, boy. That's a long one. Um, there's a few reasons, okay? Uh, but the primary thing is that the church is... Um, we make a distinction between a sacred space and a dedicated sacred space. So, is a beach a sacred place? Yeah, God made it. He's fully present in it. When you have a church, you have a dedicated sacred place. Something that will stand uh, and, and be present as it is for a long time. And it's dedicated to the purpose of communion with God and us. And so, the church's... Um, preference, and, well, requirement, is that the weddings happen in those dedicated spaces. Um, I know that's tough, and uh, this wasn't an issue when I was first ordained, but I swear every year I hear it more and more. So I get that this is tough. Uh, make sure and talk to your priest. It's not something where I can cover all of it right now, but to me, that's the clearest one, just to think of it this way. It's the most significant covenant two people can enter together, and so the church wants it to be in a dedicated, sacred place. I think sometimes some of the outdoor stuff uh, feeds too much into this uh, informality that we keep trying to unintentionally introduce into the sacred. Uh, but it is a sacred, sacred thing. Uh, a man and a woman standing before God and their family and friends and saying, we will live the covenant of Christ with his bride, the church. Um, so anyway, I could go on and on, and I won't because I assume I've said enough. All right, let's get after it. I'm going to cough. <clears throat> that was a sacred cough. Let's, I, man, I am the upside down dude. Okay. Why can't Catholics receive the Eucharist more than once a day if they attend Mass more than once a day? Well, they can. Um, if, uh, it's not uncommon that someone goes to a morning Mass and then a funeral. Uh, and if that's the case, absolutely, you can receive. What the church asks you to do is not go to communion twice or more in a day if you're doing it to, quote, get more grace. Uh, that any single instance of receiving the Eucharist in a day is enough to carry you through. If our motivation is, well, I get more spiritual graces this way, no, you should not receive. But if you are, uh, if you've gone to your morning mass and then you go to a funeral, which is a corporal work of mercy, uh, heck yeah, you should receive. Absolutely. So it has more to do, I think, with intentionality. What reason? If you got a good reason, yeah, do it. Okay. As long as you didn't do a mortal sin between the two, because then we have to talk. All right. Last question of the day. Uh, what name did you choose for confirmation and why? This is actually kind of a funny story. I chose the name Eusebius. I'm just kidding. Uh, I chose the name Gordon. Uh, it's my dad's name. And it was funny because the priest on there forget, he said, well, you have to choose a saint name. Gordon isn't a saint. And I said, quote, not yet. Uh, so uh, true story. He actually let me keep it. But I picked that because of my dad. He is the holiest and best man I know. And that's who I want to be like. So uh, that's where I went with that one. Um, so think, and he is. He's an awesome dad, just so you know. Uh, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great time. We will see you next time. And if you have any questions, submit them to the Holy Family Facebook page and we'll get right after them. God bless you. Have a great day.